Hey guys, Dr. Deuce back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today we're going to be looking at how to customize your channel strip settings to meet your specific needs. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so what I've got here is an arrangement that has been fully recorded and ready for mixing. All the production's done and what I've done is exported all of the audio files from my MIDI production project and now I've got everything as printed as audio. So let's see what we've got. We've got drums, we've got vocals, we've got keys here, we've got guitars, um, some more guitars down here and what else we got? More guitars, we got BVs down here, some more vocals. This is a vocal right here. Um, let's see what else we've got down the bottom. Yes, so it's all vocals all the way to the end. Now, as you know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I love to keep things tidy and I'm very big on housekeeping. So I've already gone through and I've done a bit of uh, color coding. The other thing I'll need to do is I'd like to have my drums, then my vocals, and then um, reorder things so that they're in, in groups. So I've got my lead vocal track right here. I'm gonna bring up all of my other vocals. I wanna do them all in one single step. I don't wanna do them individually. And this is how you do it. So this is a vocal right here. So I'm gonna click there. And now I will scroll to the bottom. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and click. And now I've selected all of the vocals in one group. And all I need to do now in um, Pro X is click, drag and drop just about here. There we go. Right, so we need to move the keys down, that's fine. But all of the vocals have been dropped into place, which is kind of cool. The other thing I like to do is see that the individual tracks are color coded and their color coding re reflect that of the actual regions. So what we're gonna do here is select all of the drums, click, shift, click, got all of my drums and I'm just gonna right click here and I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna assign track color. I'm gonna go for the orange and as you can see, all of the track colors have been changed. If I pull up the uh, mixer again by pressing X on the keyboard, all of my drums are now color coded orange. Let's do the same for the vocals. So click, scroll down a bit, all the way down to here. And I'm going to shift, click. Okay, so all of the vocals have been selected. What we want to do is right click here and go to assign track color. I'm going to choose this color right here. Great. And now if I go back to my mixer, you'll see that all of the vocals are coded pink. Okay, so now that I've done all of the housekeeping that I wanted to do, let's get straight to the main point of this video. And the main point is how to tailor your channel strip settings to meet your exact needs and for you to be able to use these presets later on. So I've got a bunch of drum tracks right here. And what I want to do during the mix process is have the same settings on all of the drums, but I will make adjustments for each individual track later on. So let's start off with the kick drum, the inside, and I'm going to go to settings. And over here, here are some of my presets. I'll show you how to make them later on, but I'm going to show you how I use them first of all. So SSL drums, and that comes up, and these are all my presets. So I'm going to pull up the, this is my channel strip, and my SSL strip, and this is, is my compressor. This is my noise gate. And this is my isotope insight for metering. Now, what I want to do is have this setting, all of these settings across all of these drums. What I also want to do is send all of my drums to a drum bus. I'm going to go to stereo out bus, bus 10 drums. So what we want to do is copy this channel strip setting and paste it across all of these drums. So the shortcut to copy the channel strip setting is Option or Alt, Command, C. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna click here. We're gonna hold the Shift key down, click here, 
And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the mixer by pressing X on the keyboard. Now, as you can see, all of these uh, channel strips have been selected. And now what we're gonna do is Option, Command, V. And as you can see, all of my drum tracks have now got the same exact settings. Even the icon has been brought in. And as you can see as well, everything has been bust to bust 10. Let's assume that this wasn't already set up. I would go in settings and I would look at my presets, which will be under user channel strip settings. And I'll pull up the drum bus, which I created and stored. And on that, I've got isotope alloy, which I love. Next, I'm gonna deal with my background vocals and all of these going all the way down here on the pink channel strips. So they're all background vocals. Some are ad-libs at the bottom, but the main ones up here are backgrounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to choose the first one, go back to setting. Um, I'm gonna to go to SSL BV. Once again, it's got all of the settings I want. Um, and I will copy this channel strip setting. So option, command C to copy. Then we select, so we click here, we scroll down to the bottom, wherever we wanna stop. In fact, I'm gonna go all the way down for now and I'm gonna hit the uh, shift click and that selects everything. Now I'm gonna go over to the mixer and I am going to option, Command V. Now all of the vocal tracks have got the same settings spread all the way across. The other thing um, we can do at this stage is because I hadn't set up my group bus yet for the backgrounds, we can do it now whilst everything is selected. So if we go to stereo out bus and I'm um, gonna go for, I'm gonna go for bus two. Now everything's been set to bus two. I'm gonna double click here, name that BVs, and I'm going to go to setting. And this time it's user channel strip settings, Dr. Deuce's Fox bus. Right here you can see I've got a uh, Waves uh, bus compressor, uh, SSL bus compressor, as well as Isotopes Nectar 2, which I love to use on vocals. Okay, um, now my drums have gone to a bus and so have my vocals. That's how you access your presets.